This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the amazingly awesome Audible. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. This is the show where you can ask me any question that you've got from the world of technology. Generally at Ask the Buffalo, I'm sitting in front of my desk answering questions. We're gonna spice it up a little bit during this show. Stick around and I'll tell you how. So if you want to submit questions to Ask the Buffalo, you can do it one of two ways. Every Tuesday, we post an article on technobuffalo.com asking for your questions, and quite obviously, you'll leave them down below. If you don't want to respond or you missed that Tuesday, you can go ahead and send your questions to us on Twitter. Uh, and one of the bits of advice that I gave was, be very mindful of your words. Don't do your videos the way you might talk to a friend. Try not to use uhs and ums. So if you've been following us on Techno Buffalo, you know that we started Nerf Wars here in the Techno Buffalo offices where we shoot each other with Nerf guns. So I've got Ralph and Brandon off camera that are instructed to shoot me with Nerf guns every time I say uh or um during this video, which is inevitably going to happen, but I'm gonna try and be really conscious of it as I go and get started. So from this point forward, anytime I say those words or any version of it, I am gonna get pelted on camera with a Nerf gun. So our first question comes from user Joey Kiggins, who wants to talk about the just released PS Vita. And he's asking, John, I'm wondering about getting the PS Vita. I don't know if I should go with the PS Vita or the Nintendo 3DS. A good question, a lot of folks out there that are looking to get a portable console are trying to decide between the two. So with most gaming consoles, portable or otherwise, people generally are falling into two camps. The more hardcore gamers who tend to gravitate towards the PS3, the Xbox 360, or the more casual gaming crowds that have previously gravitated towards Nintendo Wii. That same division is definitely here as well with the PS Vita. If you like to play first-person shooters, if you like to play uh, games that have a bit more in-depth gaming experience to them, the PS Vita is going to probably be a better way to go. It's certainly very new in its release cycle. The thing is, at this point, it's about 48 hours old uh, when this video is being filmed, so extremely Ow. So my response is going to be to pick which one's better for you. If you like those Zelda games, you like the Mario games, which certainly I love, you're going to want to look at the 3DS. If you want that more console-esque gaming experience, PS Vita is going to be the one to check out. So our second question comes from Tommy the Kiwi, who wants to ask, John, I'm an amateur photographer and snowboarder. I'm looking to combine the two by photographing snow sports. Problem is I can't find a camera bag tough enough to stand up to the cold, wet, and hard hits of snowboarding. Do you have any companies or even cases that can handle all the above without damage? So Tommy, I'm certainly no expert in photography. I've gone on record as saying I'm trying to learn, but I don't know that much. But fortunately, we do have an expert in photography and camera accessories on board in the form of Mike Perlman. And actually today, this video is being filmed on Friday, he put up a brand new video comparing the GoPro and the Contour Plus. They're meant for snow, they're meant for being dropped off hills, Mike even test them with a slap shot. I'm not sure if you're looking to do video or still, but the best answer I can give you is going to be to look for something like one of those GoPro cameras. So a very convoluted, probably not direct answer to your question but I hope it helps. And as I'm sitting here filming this, I have two Nerf guns aimed directly at me. So far, we've only had one mess up. And speaking of say it, I wanna go ahead and thank our friends and sponsors audible.com, the folks that are keeping these lights on for us. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded anywhere to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Audible is actually something that I use, but I don't have time to do all the reading that I'd like, so I go ahead and download some audiobooks and I play them in the car when I'm at the gym. Go ahead and check out Audible Podcast slash Techno to get your free audiobook. It's free, so yeah, you can make your parents happy. You can tell them that you're reading, but you're really just listening. So our next question is from Matthew210 who wants to talk about Windows Phone 7. He asks, Hey John, do you think my HTC Surround and first gen Windows phones will get the Apollo update and will they really need them? It's a great question, Matthew. One of the nice things about Windows Phone 7 is that the specs have been standardized across the entire board. So I do absolutely think that those first generation Windows Phone devices are going to get the Apollo update, which you're presumably gonna see at Mobile World Congress next week or this week when you're watching the video. 
We are going to be at Mobile World Congress. Might as well shoehorn that in there. So if you're looking for all the most updated coverage coming out from the show, that's going to be your best bet to check out technobuffalo.com. Microsoft has been really good thus far about getting updates across all of their phones. Hopefully you'll take advantage of dual cores in the future, but hopefully that single core support for first gen phones will still be there. So our last question comes from user Josh, who asks, John, what do you think the best features of the iPad 3 are going to be? I wish I could reach into the future a week or so, pluck out what's gonna come out of that conference and tell you guys that the best I can report is what the rumors have been and what the prevailing rumors have been for the past few weeks. Retina display. We are going to see a higher definition display on the next generation iPad. In fact, Mac rumors and I fixed it have already taken a look at these displays and we're seeing a, just about double the resolution of the current uh, iPad 2. Ha! Out of the current generation iPad 2. LTE is also all the rage, 4G, 4G, 4G. And also, we will hopefully have a better camera on the iPad 3. The cameras on the iPad 2 are abysmal. Image quality is um, absolutely atrocious iPad 3, we're finally going to have fourth generation wireless technology. Definitely worthwhile upgrade. Better camera, better battery, and hopefully a little bit of a better screen. So hopefully you guys enjoy this very menacing version of Ask the Buffalo with guns facing at me. Um, if you guys want to check out technobuffalo.com, be sure to check us out for all of your latest tech news, reviews, and unboxings. The guys with the guns fortunately missed a few of my ums and ahs, so I dodged a few literal bullets there. Uh, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. That was uncalled for. And I will see you in the next video. Um, um, <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> I take it, but... <laughs> See you in the next video.